Hi, in this video I will show a very common mistake many people do when they are working with B1 Usability Package Item Placement Tool. Uh, so let me show you the, the problem. Um, the problem is about uh, doing the item placement in the non-standard uh, minimum screen size. So here I'm on Business Partner, it could be any screen. Uh, and let me make the screen so it's not in the in the minimum size and then say I want to take this field and I want to place it onto the main window and I want to place it below opportunities so I've now done that and I've added it and okay there's a little mistake here I could fix that but it looks okay So I think everything is good, but now if I go into close the window and reopen it, you will actually see it's either completely gone or depending on what size you're in, or you can see it's actually out here. So why in the world did it work when I just saw it, but now it's uh, in a completely different way uh, place? Um, the reason is in here. Um, there's two things in it. One is if you are running in pixel mode instead of dynamic placement mode. Um, and you can check that inside the module configuration on the base configuration. Um, basically, all installations prior to 2014 uh, will be in pixel mode due to legacy, uh, while all new installations will be in the new relative placement mode that doesn't really have this problem in, in, in the same regards. I will show a little about it still being a problem sometime, uh, but uh, not in a big manner uh, compared to pixel mode. So why did it happen? Um, it actually looked okay, and you can see when I updated this, it actually went back again and, and look look to be in the right place but again if I close the screen and reopen it's not in the right place so again I can go in here just do a little update and it will place it in the right position so the problem is down here uh, the problem is it says that this uh, should be in pixel mode and it should be placed on position 686 uh, times uh, and the top value should be 80, 86 uh, sorry 83 um, so I have a little tool that I can actually it's a screenshot tool but I can check how far pixels are long so we can see that if I look at roughly 800 and uh, 686 that's roughly this uh, this position uh, so it looks okay and it's roughly uh, 80, 83 pixels down. So if the screen was this uh, size initially, then, uh, then it would be okay. But if I go into the screen now, you can see it's suddenly in a pixel called 1080, 85. So what happens is that placement will always happen in the absolute minimum size. That's a re restriction from the SDK. So if I actually make it the minimum size here and again show you the pixel count, you will see that this pixel count is actually the 186. So we placed it in a wrong position. Uh, and the reason why the tool tries to put it in the right position when we, we do it is because it will just look at the screen as if you are in the minimum size and place it. So if I do it, I can actually place it in different positions depending on how much screen space I actually give it. So it's, an, it's a nice thing that it shows you immediately how it went, but if you made it in, a, in the non-minimum size, it will actually give you some, some uh, misunderstandings and that's the main reason why, why this video exists. So first of all, how do I fix this? Um, I can go in and figure out what the pixels are and 
do it myself or I can take the item away and then replace it again. So my case, I should again go to the absolute minimum size until it gets scroll bars. I'm there. And then I should do the placement once again. And if we do that, you will actually see a completely different left size. And the left size of that is this size uh, in the system. So in that regard, it's uh, this means that it's correct position. So it will, in the minimum size, place that. We can see it's, it places it as we intend. And it stays there. And even if I move the screen out, it is now in the right position. So it will keep that place because it actually plays it. You, you can't see it because it, it happening so fast. It will actually place it there and then SAP will make the screen bigger and it will follow out using the normal sizing rules of business one. So this is how you fix it. Essentially replace, not a good option. Uh, you can go in and, and check the, the left value yourself, figuring out where it should be in, in, in the right position and, and do it. Um, or you can switch to relative placement mode. Uh, if we do that, let's try to do this once again. Because relative placement mode is not sensitive to being in the minimum size. I, I will show some limitations still. Uh, and where where you need to remember what limit to si uh, minimum size is, but uh, essentially, if I do exactly the same in relative placement mode, and say I want to place it below this field, the placement happens in item relation. We have a complete separate video on this as well for for more details. But essentially, we are not relying on pixels. We are relying on it should be below this no matter how far this is out. So doing that, it will, of course, place it in. And if we open the screen, it will still be there. So relative placement saves the day in, 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 this, in the manner of speaking here. Uh, but it doesn't change the fact that if you place something uh, in a pl position where it, does, where it doesn't really have the, the placement, uh, I could go in and do a manual placement here. I want to say I want to place it right to, and for example, I want to place it right to the fax, which is item 47, just as a sample. So if I do that, it should, uh, where did it go? Not below, right to. Placed it wrong. Okay, this is actually easier to show with an existing field. So let me get rid of this item. And in the same manner, take that this field. which is item 335. I want to take 335 and place it right, right to item 47. It is now here. Uh, and because I'm in, in this screen size, it is essentially looking okay, but again, in minimum size, which is this, we don't really have room for it. Uh, we are lucky that there is no field here, but if I put it below the email, the field itself and the remarks field would have overlapped in the system. So you always need to figure out it looks like if we go to maximum size. We have a lot of room to put in different fields. Uh, but there's no really room for it uh, because minimum size should be adhered to because of people with low resolutions. Uh, and in that regard, 
um, still with relative placement. It's not just take any size and, and put items in. Uh, so our recommendation is in general, always try to put the minimum size on when you do the, the rearranging. Uh, with relevance and placement, it doesn't really matter that much because things still follow along, but you will end up with some scenarios where your custom comes back to you and say, I actually didn't run, run in, your, in the size you did it in, and now look at these fields, they are overlapping, just like these are, are essentially doing in, in the system right now. So um, in that regard, um, it is best to, to go in and uh, do it all, everything in minimum size, and especially if you are in pixel mode. So I hope uh, this explains why this uh, mistake sometimes happens uh, and how to get, uh, get around it. Okay, thank you.